Greetings, Fallout 4 Wastelanders. Mr. Fox, 1701 here. And my character, Chloe, is getting hungry. She would like to barbecue this Brahmin meat. Put this Brahmin meat on the barbecue. And that barbecue just isn't big enough. We're never going to get that Brahmin meat cooked. That barbecue is not going to work. We need a bigger barbecue pit. So I'm here to show you how to build one. Let's get rid of that. I have a concrete foundation in the background. You'll see why in a moment. I'm going to lay down some campfires. I'm trying to line them up. I'm using the concrete foundation as a guide to line it up. I'm spamming the button, stacking three high. You can stack up to six. Three is high enough because well, it's, it's a good height to barbecue at. I'm trying to space these on a standard floor square. Now my barbecue is adjustable, the height of it, and that's what I'm using the concrete foundation for. I'm going to adjust the height of that. I'm going to put in the mesh, the concrete mesh floor from the concrete menu. Get rid of that. So now we've got a barbecue. And the ends need support, of course. So I'm going to use the spiked pole. These spiked poles I have found are rather tricky. They don't seem to have a consistent clipping. Whenever I use them, they always seem to, sometimes they want to clip easily, other times they don't. As I was test building my barbecue, they clipped very nicely into the corners of this floor, but now it's not cooperating very well. Close enough. If anybody can come up with the physics or the mechanics of these poles, please let me know because I would like to use them more, but they just don't seem to want to cooperate sometimes. You can see that that's clipping in a little bit there. In my, on my test, it clipped all the way into the corner and looked very much like it was being supported by the pole. While this is trying to happen here, remind you that I am doing this on the Xbox. There are no mods involved. And I'm also recording this on the Xbox using Upload Studio. And for those that are familiar with it, it's probably not as easy to use as the PC editing software. And also, you probably know that I'm recording the voiceover after the fact. I've made the video and I'm doing the voiceover afterwards. Trying to get this close here and it just won't cooperate. But let's just finish it up for demonstration purposes. Close enough. I think you get the idea. Put our Brahmin on the barbecue here. And we've got a great barbecue here. So there you have it. A Brahmin barbecue. But wait, there's more. We can build this barbecue in a different way. Let's see what's behind door number one. Let's build it out of concrete. You can see that I have four stacks of three high campfires. I've got the concrete foundation and I've got a concrete wall in the back attached to the concrete foundation. I'm going to use that to help measure where the rest of the concrete goes. Put on my mesh floor grating, my grill. I want to put concrete wall around the pit. I'm using the attached wall to the concrete foundation to help set the height of this piece I'm trying to put in now. Actually, I'm going to use that to measure where this piece goes. And of course, I need to hold it in the proper position. I 
haven't used the concrete very much in my building, so I'm still playing with how it works. It seems to have a very different mechanic than the wood structures. So I'm trying to fit it in there, and it just won't seem to go. So I'm just going to let it clip there. I'll just use another piece. Sometimes it's best just to let it clip and use another piece so that it doesn't clip into that spot. Put in a corner piece. That will help me measure measure out where things are supposed to go. I'm going to put in several corner pieces here. I don't need the concrete foundation anymore. And I don't need that piece. So I'm putting in the corner pieces for two purposes. One, it helps space out the concrete walls better, helps them to clip into place, and also the basis for pillars that go around the edges. I decided to put pillars around each edge. Well, I just think it looks pretty neat, but also you could put a ceiling on there. You can do whatever you want. You can put this barbecue up against the, the wall of a concrete structure. You can put this freestanding out in the middle of a yard somewhere. Whatever you want to do. So you can see that we have a barbecue, concrete barbecue. Now those stacks are three campfires high and off to, and over here I've got campfires that are stacked four high which I will explain in just a moment. You notice that these they will carpet glitch very nicely and easily. I'm sliding it in there. I just want to show you that you can put more campfires in there to fill it up. You can probably fill in that whole area there with campfires so it doesn't look so sparse. I stacked it four high because when you take away the carpet pieces it tends to fall down in and it would be a stack of three. Of course when I made the video it didn't fall down at all. It went up and it went up. So now I'm putting in this concrete with the mesh window in it because a fire needs an updraft. It needs to have air drawn in. So put in another set of corner pieces. And there you have a concrete barbecue pit. And there's my other Brahmin pit. But wait, there's still more. Let's see what's behind door number two. I have a completed barbecue here with lots of meat on it. And the carpet pieces are still hanging out there because I wanted to show you that on this one I slid them all in. So there we have some rad scorpion tails, some squirrel bits on a stick, mirelurk meat, some rad roach, we have some mongrel dog, rad steg and brahmin meat cooking up on the barbecue. Mmm, yum yum. And I'm going to make a barbecue sauce out of nuka cola, some wine, salt and pepper, and some mute fruit mash it all up and make a barbecue sauce. There's some Gwinnett stout in the back that's really good on rad roach. We are going to have ourselves a barbecue. So there you have a barbecue pit. So here's Chloe. She's gonna cook it up for us now and it's going to be super good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make your comments below if you wish. And you can follow me on Twitter at MrFox1701. This is Mr. Fox, signing off until next time. Thank you.